This is Focus, and if you've never used Focus before, it's a great way to make use of Stable Diffusion. It's extremely easy to use. It's very streamlined. There's very few options, which makes it easy to use. But because there's very few options, you're also limited to a certain extent to what you can do with it. The images that I get out of Focus are absolutely fantastic. But one of the things you'll notice right away is that your aspect ratios here, you are limited in your image size. In other words, there's no way to directly input an image size that you want, unlike with automatic 1111. However, there is a, uh, a, a tweak, a hack that you can do so that you can add additional aspect ratios to your focus install. And that's what I'm going to focus on here. I'm going to show you just real quick how to do that. It's a real simple process. So what you'll do is you'll go to where you have Focus installed. Mine is installed on my C drive in a folder named Focus. And once you get into your main folder, you're going to find another subfolder and it's also called Focus. Once you're in that subfolder, you're going to find a file. It's called config.txt. And in that config.txt, we're going to right click and we're going to choose edit or edit in notepad if you're on Windows 11. And once the config.txt file opens, you're going to see down here, these are your aspect ratios that come preset into your focus installation. And if we wanted to add some additional aspect ratios here, for example, a common Instagram uh, photo size is 1080 by 566. So I'm going to look down here. Okay, I got 1088. I'm going to put the 1080 just above that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, probably the safest way is just go ahead and copy one of these lines. That way you're sure that you're going to get the formatting correct. Go ahead and paste that in there. We're going to do 1080 by 566. And I'll go ahead and add some spaces just to keep it neat in there like that. So now we've got our 1080 by 566 and all we're going to do is just close this. Going to ask if we want to save it. Yes, we want to save it. Now, when we go back to focus, uh, where are we at here? There's our focus. Okay. As you'll see, there's no 1080 by 566 in here right now. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to close out of focus. We'll go ahead and copy this prompt here so that I can uh, recreate this prompt. All right, so no 1080 by 566. If there was, it would be right here. So we're going to go ahead and close focus now. We're also going to have to close our background process that's running here. Then we're going to go back to our main uh, focus installation folder. Going to double click the runrealistic.bat file. That's going to launch focus again. It'll start here in just a second. And as soon as it starts, we're going to click this advanced uh, button down here at the bottom. And now you'll notice we're going to have our 1080 by 566 right here. And I will generate a, uh, an image in that new size. So that is it. And that's how easy it is to add additional aspect ratios to your focus install. So if this video was helpful, I'd appreciate a like.